welcome to the mathematics of my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x sine to the n x dx is equal to n factorial over here this is a series product of i is equal 1 to n over 2 1 plus 4 times r square okay how to begin well first i'm going to take i n is equal to this integral 0 to infinity e to the minus x sine to the n x dx well now we can integrate um, i n by using by parts method so here yeah, 0 to infinity mm, I am going to take sine to the nx is the first function so here yeah, sine to the n of x d by dx here yeah, integral of second function so integral of e to the minus x we know minus times e to the minus x dx well then product of these two functions so minus times e to the minus x times sine to the n times x from 0 to infinity next we know minus but here minus so this is going to be plus 0 to infinity now rewrite this function so e to the minus x now derivative of this function so we know according to product rule of differentiation n times sine to the n minus 1 times x now according to chain rule here cosine of x dx then we know if we plug in here infinity this is going to zero now here we have here n is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign so n integral of zero to infinity e to the minus x times sine to the n minus one x cosine of x dx then again we can integrate by parts so here n 0 to infinity now uh, again I am going to take this function as a first function so sine to the n minus 1 x times cosine of x d by dx here integration integration of this function so minus e to the minus x dx okay then we know product of these two functions so n times minus e to the minus x times sine to the n minus 1 x cosine of x from 0 to infinity then minus here also minus so plus 0 to infinity now rewrite this function so e to the minus x now derivative of this function so here mm, product of two function so we can write here product rule you, we can use product rule so rewrite first function so sine to the n minus 1 x now derivative of cosine of x we know minus sine of x then plus rewrite second function cosine of x now derivative of this function we know n minus 1 sine to the n minus 2 x then derivative of sine of x we know cosine of x 
dx well now here we know this is again going to 0 so now here we have ah oh sorry here n times uh, this function and n times so here n okay now we can multiply so we can write here n here minus sign so minus n integral from 0 to infinity now e to the minus x here sine to the n minus 1 x here sine to the 1 power of x so we know here sine to the n power of x dx then e to the minus x times these functions so plus here n here n minus 1 so n times n minus 1 0 to infinity now here e to the minus x so e to the minus x here sine to the n minus 2 x then cosine of x cosine of x so cosine square of x dx well then here I'm going to write this place so we can write i n is equal to now here minus n 0 to infinity e to the minus x sine to the n x dx plus n n minus 1 plus n n minus 1 0 to infinity here e to the minus x sine to the n minus 2 times 2 of x here cosine square of x we know cosine square of x is equal to 1 minus sine square of x here dx then here same so minus n 0 to infinity e to the minus x sine to the nx dx plus here n times n minus 1 0 to infinity now here if we multiply here by uh, e to the minus x times sine to the n minus 2 of x so we can write e to the minus x sine to the n minus 2 times x dx and then here again minus n n minus 1 now 0 to infinity uh, e to the minus x sine to the n minus 2 times x sorry sine to the n minus 2 times x we can multiply by sine square of x so sine to the n here only n sine to the n of x dx okay now we know here this is i n is equal to minus n times we know this is also is equal to i n plus n n minus 1 and here this is equal to we know i n minus 2 here minus uh, n times n minus 1 and we know this is i n okay now here i n here i n here i n now if we take i n as a common factor so here 1 here plus n here minus n square so plus n square here plus n so minus n is equal to n 
n minus 1 times i n minus 2 now n minus n get cancelled and now we have i n is equal to n n minus 1 over um, here n square plus 1 times i n minus 2 okay now we can um, yeah now replacing n by n minus 2 n minus 4 and last term 2 so if we plug in uh, n minus 2 so we can write i n minus 2 is equal to here now n minus 2 here n minus 3 over here n minus 2 square plus 1 times now here n minus 4 okay then um, here i n minus 4 so we can write here this is equal to uh, n minus 2 n minus 3 over n minus 2 square plus 1 times here i n minus 4 so i n minus 4 we can write here i n so i n minus 4 n minus 4 here uh, so here i n now uh, n minus 5 over here n minus 4 square plus 1 and here i n minus 6 okay now if we want i n minus 6 also we can plug in here so uh, we can continue as this so finally we need to um, i2 because n is an even integer so if we uh, calculate i2 so i2 is equal to here i2 is equal to 2 times 2 minus 1 over 2 square plus 1 here i naught okay now we can write Mm, here i2 now i uh, n is equal to n n minus 1 n n minus 1 n square plus 1 sorry n square plus 1 then i n minus 2 we know n minus 2 n minus 3 over n minus 2 square plus 1 times uh, now n minus 4 n minus 5 over n minus 4 square plus 1 and this is going to last term 2 times i2 2 times 2 minus 1 over 2 square plus 1 times i naught okay now here we know n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and this is going to 3 2 1 so n factorial over now in the denominator we have a series so we can write here uh, this is equal to product of i is equal 1 to n over 2 here 1 plus 2 is square 1 plus n minus 4 is square so 2 r is square plus 1 so i am going to write here 1 plus 2 r is square so now we are done in factorial over here this is capital pi uh, n over 2 1 plus 
4 times r square okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching